Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is Vlogmas Day 11 and I am here with a very, very special video that I know you guys are going to love. Today we're going to be doing a 2018 recap. 2018 has been a crazy year for me. A lot of things have happened, some good, some bad, but at the end of the year, I can safely say that this has been one of my best years yet because I've taken my hardships and my struggles and I've turned them into something positive. And that is something that I will always be grateful for. And I'm also so grateful for this year because I have met so many of you guys and so many of you have found my YouTube channel. And I always say it's not about the numbers, it's not about the views. However, as my channel grows, it makes me happy because I know that my content is reaching even more people. And the more people I reach, the more people I can impact and the more people I can help. So I'm very happy with my success this year. I'm happy that I've had you guys with me all of this time, and if we have met just this year, just know that I'm so happy to have you here, and I'm very happy that you stumbled upon me because we've got a lot to come. I am making 2019 my bitch. I don't have a choice. We can only go up from here because I refuse to go down, and this year was fucking amazing. So. We're going to have to put in some work. I'm going to have to put in some blood, sweat, and tears for 2019 because I want it to be even better. I want to do amazing things and I want to show you guys what I am capable of. It wouldn't be a yearly recap video without letting you guys know how appreciative I am of all of your support. As you guys know, I'm in a pretty small circle. I have my family, my boyfriend, and myself, and that is all that I need in my personal life and in my offline life but online i have so many of you now and you guys truly do make me feel like we have a special bond you guys get my sense of humor you guys get my jokes you stick up for me when people are bullying me you are here for me whenever i'm feeling down and when i'm happy you're there to share those moments with me and it truly truly does mean a lot. Looking back on the year and seeing where I started and where I'm at now with my channel, I am just, I'm so grateful and I'm so thankful because I know a lot of YouTubers say this and I don't want it to sound recycled, but you have to understand that it's just simply the truth. Without you guys, I couldn't do this because I wouldn't have enough support and I wouldn't have enough love to keep me going. But with you guys, you make it really easy and you make it feel like the most fun that I've ever had in my life. So without further ado, I present to you my 2018 highlights. These are some of my personal favorite moments from my videos as well as some of your favorites. So I hope that you enjoy it. Here is a recap of 2018. And here's to a special, special 2019. Let's start off strong. And leave a comment regarding what you're most excited to see from me in 2019. I love you guys so much and enjoy. So it's funny because I didn't know that I was pregnant at first. I thought that I was just getting fat. But let me just go ahead and show you. I am preg. Look at that little bun in there. What are we going to do with you? Are we going to keep her or are we going to dump her? Despite what the media might tell you, money does buy happiness. It also buys me weed, whiskey, and needles. I can't take another pay cut. All the PTA moms ratted me out for letting their kids do coke in my basement. I got fired from my job at the Dollar General. A star. People have a lot of different ideas on what a star could mean. I choose to look at it as a star five points. That means five dicks. You can tell by my drawing that I don't know a lot about vaginas, but I'm pretty sure they look like this. We have cancer, not prostate, not breast, the sign. It's so good. I guess the Satanists were right after all. Drinking cum is approved. Today, 
I wanna talk about how to prep your bus. Even though you cleaned yourself out, even though you didn't eat for three days, it'll still shit on them because it's like, it's like a, kind of like when a skunk sprays. It's like, get away from me, get away from me, get away from my ass. I'll like get in my uh, chair and do a few spins just to kind of mix everything together. Oh my God, I am, oh my God, I am, oh, okay. Ooh, back to reality. Okay, so do a few spins. Honestly, you could also like get against the wall and prop your feet up that way. You can kind of like push the liquid down. I love you so much. Bye. <laughs> Good luck. Don't shit. <laughs> Don't shit. <laughs> He's going to hate you. He'll break up with you if you shit. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Hello, Vlogger Mom. All of their husbands are cheating on them and their sons are doing crap. I know it's been a while since I've popped on the channel. I've been very busy. I've been running my business. I'm cooking a lot of crack, but you're not gonna be busting nuts left and right in this house because I'm the one who washes those sheets and when I tell you they crunch, they crunch. They've been experimenting with bus play. Look, I've done a lot of it. I know what it smells like. I can smell it through the door. Tell me why I went in my son's room to find this. Now, you think, oh, just a toilet brush. No big deal. Wrong. This, covered in shit and lube. It's been a minute. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I am so nervous. Why am I nervous? This is gonna be an emotional one. I wanna start off by saying that during these whole three months, I have missed you guys so incredibly much. This is like something that I want for myself so bad, is to just like be able to just like dedicate myself to my work because that's when it's gotten like out of control. Like that's when you know that like, it's not just a mental thing anymore. Like you're not taking care of yourself. Your body just like hurts. Like I just would like wake up and I just didn't want to move. I'm back. I missed you a lot, and it's time for me to be back on this platform. Please, Papa, put it in my booth seat. Thank you. Next. Now, if you're new to my channel, you might not know that I do have a little case of the Stockholm Syndrome. I can't lie, it's pumping through these hot veins. And I, I just remember like asking my friend, like, oh my God, can we pull over? And she's like, why? Why do you want to go hang out with him? They're just going to call you a faggot. And I was like, I just want to lay down and let them spit their chewing tobacco spit on me. It's part of the fantasy. Live it up a little. Hop that loogie right in my bus. Baby, lock the doors and turn the lights down low. I'm all about teaching life lessons on my channel, and that is a very good one. Listen here. Listen up. Get close. Close. Don't make fun of people because five years down the road, they might transition and you might want them to suck on your nut sack, but they're going to say no because you are mean. Be nice and you will get your nut sucked. Well, I'm good. When I was little, people would come up to me and say, you're a faggot. You're nothing. You're a piece of shit. And you know what I am now? Successful. Have you seen my bank account? Oozing. I don't know what to do with it. I, 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 there's, there's not enough things in the world that I could do with it. I'm beautiful. Look at me. Just look at me. <laughs> Victoria, I've got a bully at school. They just won't leave me alone. They shove me into the locker. We'll be in the cafeteria and they take their little meat patty and just throw it at me. Fuck them. They're, they're literal trash. Anyone who would go out of their way to bully you and make you feel like shit about yourself, they feel like shit about themselves. Like when people leave me hate comments or bully me in real life, it genuinely makes me sad. Not because they made me upset by their words, but because their life is so miserable and so sad that they have to come for me. <laughs> Are you kidding? Jab, jab, up. Oh, they're gonna come back at you with something. Dodge it, dodge it. Recenter, focus. Look at the pure elegance. She's got not a drop of makeup on. Not a drop. She moisturized. She's feeling soft. Hey Victoria, can I borrow your makeup? I don't use any. I don't have any. I've never put it on in my life. It makes me want to fight you. Did you feel that? There are a lot of things that really grind my bussy. Pussy's like, nah, but bussy, it's like, buh, 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 buh.
Someone's gonna jack off to that. Where my, where my dog fetish people at? I mean, they're gonna let me keep the hat. They can't make me return it. I get a call tomorrow. Um, yeah, we need you to come in and return your hat. Oh my God, sorry. My bussy's on fire. I've said this multiple times, whoever is running my simulation is a piece of shit. And as soon as this game is over, I would like to have a word with them. Uh, you know, they're probably listening right now. They're making me film this video. Whoever is running my simulation, you are so fucked up. Because I'm crackhead, I was just like walking across the fucking, oh my God. The <laughs> sister is not looking, not looking sober. That is not a sober sister. <laughs> fucking 14 year old Timmy wants to fucking blow jewel clouds into some girl's pussy in the park. Now there's a rod coming out of the wall. I say a rod, it was, it's a towel rack. It's like a little rod that you can like put your towel over while you take your shower. The cruise was pretty boring. There wasn't a lot of stuff you could do since you were under 18. So I, of course, looked at that rod and said, I wanna shove that in my ass. I decide that I'm gonna lube up my ass with soap and back up against the wall so the rod can go in me. I literally hopped off of it like I just off of the shower rod and I was so petrified. What's up, fuckers? <laughs> Just kidding, I would never do that. You guys are my precious little babies, hello. I have been depressed. I have been not doing good. I've been doing actually bad. Before I was on HRT, I was, shoot, I was shooting water guns left and right. They were hitting everybody in the face. It was getting on the ceiling. My mom had to come into my room and scrub the ceiling. It was so bad. When I'm ready to come, I'm ready. Like I don't, I don't need the foreplay. I don't need a warm up. I'm just put me right in. I'm ready to squirt. And I'm ready to move on with my day because I'm a busy gal. I'm a businesswoman. I've got a lot of stuff going on. I don't have time to just lay in bed and just da -da 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 all right guys, that is it for the 2018 recap and highlights video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope it made you smile. I hope it made you laugh. And I hope there were some of your favorite moments in there. I had so much fun making this, just going back through the year and seeing how much I've changed, what I've been through, all of the laughs that we've had. It's truly, truly been a special year. If you are looking for a way to support me and this channel, my Patreon is linked in the description. I love you guys so much, and I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 12. Bye. I love you so much. Bye.